the vast majority, almost the entire amount, impacted because of the visa policies in the Trump administration. And that right there, of course, is California Governor Gavin Newsom taking a trip in the light fantastic with that, whatever, a fantasy quest he's on right there. He claims that roughly 82,000 people left California, not because of his policies or the crime or the homeless problem in California. No, he blames Governor Ron DeSantis. Or I'm sorry. Well, he likes to, to blame Ron DeSantis for everything, but really blaming Donald Trump for the folks moving out of his state and the border policies that Trump wanted to put in place. But a study from the Federal Reserve Bank in Chicago also found people were fleeing to less restrictive states, of course, like Texas and Ron DeSantis' Florida during the COVID pandemic. Newsom also downplayed the pandemic as well as the border crisis. This whole damn border debate is made up. It's made up. Made up. Made up. Well, Abbott says that his residents are dying because of the fentanyl crossing the border. Gavin Newsom says the whole thing is a manufactured crisis. Who do you believe? Let's welcome in now Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne from Texas. Congresswoman, great to have you with us. It's great to be with you. Now, if you put... I, I watched that clip. I'm shocked. <laughs> Well, if you put I'm enough, just, and I can, I, I, I have some experience with this. If you put enough product in your hair and you say damn at the camera, then people will believe you, especially if you're at one of those cool little confabs with the chairs and little bottles of water or whatever. But I, 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 I'm gonna I take your word for that. Yeah, I'm going to take your word for that. <laughs> okay. All right. Please do. Uh, but I mean, how do we even respond to something like that from Gavin Newsom? Well, I'll tell him, I think the Heisman's in uh, uh, Dallas, Texas, who lost their 23-year-old son, Martin, to fentanyl death would, would disagree with him that this is not made up. And I'll tell you, Gavin, you want to see if it's made up? Come to Eagle Pass with me. Come to McAllen with me. Come down to our borders and we'll show you what you are claiming is made up. When you've got over 3.2 million people who have illegally entered this country since, um, that we've caught, that we know of, since um, Biden became president, and you're calling that made up, you need to actually govern and lead your state. You've been in office there. You've been a lieutenant governor and governor since 2011. You are losing people and you are losing businesses hand over fist because of your horrible economic policies, your awful social policies. And you have taken that state that was a beautiful state and you have driven it into the ground. That's why places like McKesson and Floor and Toyota have fled from California into places like North Texas because we recognize and respect our business community, but especially our residents. And you just don't seem to. That's why people are leaving California. There's also this new report from DHS that found in 2021, Border Patrol agents did not assign illegal immigrants registration numbers. This was done to speed up the processing to reduce the populations at these overcrowded facilities, but not providing a tracking number. I mean, I guess we kind of suspected this. This is basically putting these illegal immigrants on the honor system, expecting them to show back up and be part of the, the system, a broken system. It, it makes no sense. I mean, again, they, when we argue and when you have governors like Abbott and DeSantis that are arguing that we have open borders, their states are, are feeling it directly. We are seeing it in our streets. We're seeing rises in crime. We're seeing um, rises in deaths from fentanyl. We're seeing drug cartel activity. And, and, and the federal government won't do anything. I love Gavin Newsom saying, Congress, where are you? Well, you know what? Your party has been in, in charge of Congress. Your party is the majority in the House, is the majority in Senate. You've got the, the, um, the presidency. Talk to party members, your party, and ask them, why have they not done anything about this? Join our fight. Say, we need to have policies. Republicans have introduced policies these last few years. We have been ignored. We can't even get them out of the committee. You saw under the Trump administration some of the best policies ever that gave us a secure border um, that stopped the drug cartels from coming in and stopped the you know um, um, decreased de definitely decreased the amounts of illegal activity that were that were happening at the border. Why is this not happening? I would love Newsom to ask his party get on the stick and help us in Congress. Well, Congressman, my wife actually sent me a text this morning about that candy coated colored fentanyl, whatever it is. And she says, look, I feel like I got to ask my daughter's school. She's in elementary school. If they have uh, Narcan on hand at the elementary school, just, you know, she f feels like this is where we are now, where elementary schools need to have Narcan on standby because of stuff like this. I mean, this is happening you know, all over the country. 
You're right. It is happening all over the country. When we say when we say every community now is a border community, we're not kidding. Um, and God bless your wife. I, yeah, I, my kids are it's not, now. It's every, uh, I think it's every parent right now every, in America feels yeah. this way. No, and I agree with you. I agree with you. And it's, it's terrible. And again, we've got policies that we could have introduced. But really, the policies that were already working at the border um, that this this administration has just out of spite, gotten rid of, and now is trying to go back to. You hear Biden now begging, pleading with Mexico to be part of the solution after he basically got rid of the Remain in Mexico policy. That was a very difficult policy to put in place. Uh, and now he's recognizing that. Um, but unfortunately, for many people in this country uh, who have lost children, uh, who have lost f friends and family, um, it's too late. Yeah, and, and the question is how many people have to die before the Democrats yeah. and the Biden administration admit they were wrong, and they are wrong about this policy. And even if their objective is flooding the country with illegal immigrants so they vote Democrat, is that really worth all these deaths we see, not only at the border, but across this country? Congresswoman, great to see you. Great to see you, too.